do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends so let's start with a very interesting topic of partial differentiation which is called as composite function so here i am going to tell you what is the definition of composite function and let's understand the concept of composite function through an example so guys what is meaning of composite word so in english we say composite is nothing but the combination of two or more elements so you must have heard this word in chemistry so guys here the composite function has the same meaning it means it is a function which is combination of two or more functions so let's see how that composite function looks like and then how to find the partial differentiation of such composite function so here in front of you we have the definition of composite function so here i have considered one function that is z which is a function of x and y you can see here then x is a function of t and y is also a function of t so here we have written x is phi of t and y is psi of t so guys okay, these are just the symbols given to denote the function as we take f to denote the function so x and y are the functions of t and z is a function of x and y so guys if i see this z then z is related with t through x and y so z is function of x and y and x and y are function of t so z is related with t so whenever one variable is related with another variable or let's uh, talk it in the technical terms when the independent variable that is the t and z which is the dependent variable they are related with each other through some intermediate variable like x and y then such function is called as composite function so here we can call that z is a composite function of t so to understand this in easy manner we always solve this composite function with the help of tree diagram so here guys i am going to draw the tree diagram and then let's revise this concept once again so here z is a function of x and y next x is function of t so here i'll say it's a function of t and y is also function of t so it means z is function of t through x and y so guys as i told you that z is called as dependent variable because it is dependent on t so here i'll write then x and y are the independent uh, i mean t is the independent variable and x and y are intermediate variable so so we know that in any function the one variable is dependent on one or more other variables so that dependent variable here is z and the independent variable is t not x and y so here if you see z is function of x and y few people feel that z is a z is dependent on x and y it's true but it is not directly dependent on x and y it is dependent on t and those x and y are dependent on t and then z is dependent on x and y it means i can say that z is dependent on t so guys you have to remember this now whenever the differentiation will be asked in the exam what we have to do is we have to take the relationship between dependent and independent variable so uh, whenever show that question will be there uh we'll see the both side that is lhs and rhs and then we'll observe the differential terms where we should have the relationship between dependent and independent variable and such functions we can solve by using the chain rule so guys here 
I am going to apply the chain rule on this tree diagram. So let's say if I want to find out the value of dz by dt. So guys here, uh, let me tell you one more thing that here I can say that z is a function of t. So if I want to find out the value of dz by dt, then through tree diagram, how do we find it out? So as per the chain rule, we travel from the dependent variable to the independent variable so here the dependent variable is z and independent is t so i'll travel from z to t so there are two paths to travel from z to t one is z to x x to t and z to y y to t so guys we are gonna write down that path using the chain rule so here i'll write this part that is z to x so i'll write that as del z by del x now guys, you'll say why del is written because if I'm differentiating this z with respect to x, then y will be treated as constant because we are finding the partial differentiation. Now, from x to t, it will become dx by dt. Now you must be thinking, so why it is not del x by del t? So let me tell you that x is a function of t, it means x have only one variable that is t so if there is no other variable present then we can't use the partial differentiation or even if we use the partial differentiation we are gonna get the total differentiation only so here let's say with t we would have let's say some p then i would have said it as del z by del, del t because we could have uh, considered that p as a constant but here since there is no other variable present with this t we will get the complete differentiation then plus so now when one path is completed then we have to give sign as plus then let's take second part so that will be del z by del y so that is the first into dy by dt so i am sure that you understood this that y is a function of t only so it will be complete differentiation and when I'm fighting del z by del y, I can treat x as constant. Now this is the chain rule. So I've applied the chain rule for both the paths. Now guys, by doing this, I'll get the value of del z by dz uh, by dt. Now you must, you must be thinking that since z is a function of x and y, how can we get a complete differentiation? So guys, let me tell you that here I'm saying that z is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable now if you see z and t then z is a function of only one variable which is t so there is no other variable which we can keep as a constant or which we can consider as a constant hence here we are gonna get the complete differentiation only so this is the formula to find out dz by dt in terms of composite function so whenever we have composite function this is a formula which we are gonna use now guys this is the first case of composite function now let's elaborate this concept itself for one more type of composite function now for that we have z as a function of x and y and x is a function of u and v y is also a function of u and v now let's see what we do in this case so here first of all i'll draw the tree diagram so here i'll get z function of x and y x is a function of u and v y is a function of u and v now guys z is a dependent u and v are independent x and y are intermediate the same thing now if you see then z is a function of u and v so if i want to find out the differentiation of z with respect to u then i can consider v as a constant and that is why here we are gonna get the partial differentiation so i'll first find out the value of del z by del u and then i'm gonna find out the value of del z by del v now guys to find out del z by del u i'm gonna apply the chain rule on different paths which is going from z to u so one path is z to x x to u and then z to y y to u so let's apply the chain rule on that so for first path i'll get del z by del x into del x by del u so this is the first path plus the second path is 
del z by del y into del y by del u. Now guys here I want to clarify two more points. One is now since here there are two parts here I got two different terms with plus sign in between. Now let's say, now let's say tomorrow you are getting a question which is having multiple parts. So let's say three parts or four parts so your terms will increase. So that is the first point. Now the second point here if you see I have written del x by del u here because when I'll find this differentiation that time I'm going to keep v as a constant but in the previous case x was a function of t only so that is why we got dx by dt which was the complete differentiation so whenever we have multiple variables that time we are going to get the partial differentiation only because here we are finding the partial differentiation for composite function so partial differentiation is possible if and only if we have more than one variable in the given function so this is the formula now let's find it out for this del z by del v so let's find the path so z to x x to v one path then z to y y to v so let's apply the chain rule so del z by del x into del x by del v so this is the first part and the second part is del z by del y into del y by del v so that is the second part so guys this is the value of del z by del v so here we have seen the definition of composite function and the different cases or i would say the examples of the finding the partial differentiation by using the composite function so guys i'm sure that you understood this definition and the concept so keep watching ikeda to get knowledge about all the engineering subjects and don't forget to share this video with your friend because they can also get benefited through this wonderful concepts thank you very much and keep watching guys